Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, uh, my friend Jason is here today and we're going to try a fail in the freeze dryer. Um, let me show you what I did. So I tried to do some egg rolls and I cut them up into bite-sized pieces and they were in the freeze dryer um, last night and it was getting late and I checked them and they weren't 100% done. So I went ahead and emptied the tray into a Ziploc bag, put it in the freezer, and then I was going to run it back through the cycle um, with some other stuff today, because everything else in the dryer last night was done. So anyway, then I put it back on the tray, and during the two times that I handled it, this is what happened to our egg rolls. They kind of fell apart. Uh, so some of them are together some of them totally fell apart let me just show you they're so fragile that if you pick one up and the shell breaks it just kind of falls apart like that so Jason yeah you're gonna take one for science and try it out <laughs> oh boy let's see what happens and he's taking an end piece that is nice and intact Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work at all mm -mm. Huh? so do you think that this could be crushed up and used as a crunchy salad topper or as something to go on the top of soup or does this go straight in the garbage maybe soup but uh, I'll get the bin You'll, you'll get the garbage bin? Yeah. Oh, man. He's oh. killing me. They're all killing me this week. Straight to the garbage. Oh, Jason. Oh. Okay. That was horrifying. Well, there, there, there you go. Nasty. Another straight shooter Nick. here at the epicenter. Do not do not try that at home. That was horrible. Uh, he didn't like it at all. No. Okay. Well, that was a total fail. Jason and I have decided to take another one for science today. And we're going to warm up some chicken broth. And then I'm just going to take these little egg roll dudes. And I'm going to mush them up. And then we're going to throw these in the soup. Uh, in the broth. And just see what happens. So, anyway, that'll be kind of fun. Jason is going to do the honors. Tell me when. I don't know. That's why I'm having you do it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Here, I'll stir. Let's, uh, I say pop it all in there. If we do it all in there, this is going to go from soup to stuffing. To stuffing? That sounds good. Want to give it a try? Sure, why not? Away we go. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, that's fun. So, we should just give that a couple of minutes and it yep. should be ready to go. Let's see what happens. All right. Ooh, Let's yeah. Let's see what happens. More stew-like. I kind of like that. There okay. we go. The first guinea pig. A little bit of salt. And let's see what we get. That is still hot, oh. but the flavor has come out real well. Really? Yeah, it's actually a significant improvement over the dry version. Cool. I so, would say this not is, a failure? <laughs> this is successful science. If you turn it into a stew, it's all right. But uh, would not recommend the natural freeze-dried state. No. No thank you. All right, well, we, we turned disaster into something edible for lunch today, so we're happy about that, aren't we? Uh, definitely. This is a significant improvement. <laughs> the broth was, yeah, definitely better. So you've been munching on this for a little while. How yep. are the flavors blending for you? Added just a little bit of salt on top to bring some of it up, but the vegetables, flavor and texture came out really well with that chicken broth. Yeah, I and think so too. 
the wrapper, there are some parts where it's still kind of kind of freeze-dried. It's still really firm, but it's not a drawback. It works pretty well. Comes out as a decent stew. Right on. You have invented egg roll stew. <laughs> and Jason said he wants to freeze dry this so that he could take it backpacking and uh, have a little egg roll stew on the, on the road, this, on the trail. This could work, <laughs> but just regular old egg rolls, no. Sometimes you got to fail to get to success. <laughs> For the Epicenter.com, I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.